you may have learned uh, to graph using y is equal to mx plus c. This is one form of equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c. This is a standard form. In some other books they say bx plus c, doesn't matter. m is the gradient, m is the gradient which is rise over run or change in y over change in x, the rise over run or this is also called as change in y over change in x. change in x. Okay, in some books they call that, say, well, that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All mean one and the same thing. y2 minus y1 is change in y, which is can be described as rise, and x2 minus x1 is change in x, which is run. And the c is your y-intercept. Is your y intercept. So both uh, C and M are letters, sorry, are numbers. Okay, they refer to different things. The number with X is referred as the gradient or the slope. Okay, so this is not what we are doing. We are doing, if suppose equation, if you've got an equation like this, Y is equal to say, sorry, uh, minus 3X plus 2Y is equal to 12. This is what this means. Your A, you can compare A with negative 3, you can compare B with 2, and C with 12. Now to do this, this is in this form. This is a different form. AX plus BY is equal to C. Your C is 12, B is 2, and A is negative 3. So there is a method called cover-up method. Cover-up. So basically, cover-up method is to find where your graph cuts the x-axis and the y-axis. So what do we do? What does cover-up mean? You cover up x, suppose the whole thing with x. Let me make it bigger. Suppose I'm covering up x. That means I'm uh, setting x is equal to 0. Okay, that when you're covering up x, what are you saying? That is 0. So when x is 0, uh, your, so let me move this. So what are we saying? You should, not, oh, oops. So what are we saying? We, we, when we're covering up this minus, three, when we are covering up minus 3x, we are saying x is 0. If x is 0, this whole thing is going to be 0. That means you can't see x. x is not visible. Okay, so that means you can say, 2y, what can you see? You can say 2y is equal to 12. 2y is equal to 12, so dividing both sides by 2, y is equal to 6. So your y-intercept, this means your y-intercept is 6. y is equal to 6 means when x is 0, y is 6. That means your y-intercept is 6. So you plot a point at 6, so this is your y-intercept. This is a very efficient way of graphing. The next is you cover up y. You're covering up y. So when you're covering up y, what can you see? You can see 3 minus 3x. So in that case, you're setting y equal to 0. You can't see y. That means y is 0. So what can you see? Minus 3x is equal to 12. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 3 gets cancelled. x is equal to negative 4. 12 divided by negative 3. Use a calculator. Those are not sure. So 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So your x-intercept is negative 4. The x-intercept is negative 4. And then draw the line. As simple as that. So this is the line. So the equation of this line is uh, minus 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Okay, so 
uh, let's do one more one more example. Uh, let me remove this. And let me use a bigger eraser to. Okay, I want to use the same graph. Okay, so let me make up one more question. Say minus x plus 2y is equal to 6. Minus 2x minus x plus 2y is equal to 6. So first I'm going to cover up x. I'm going to cover up x. You can't see x, though you can see that means x is 0. When you're covering up x, what are we saying? x is equal to 0. Okay, you should understand the maths behind it. So there's no point in doing something without understanding the maths. So you're covering up x means your x, you're setting x is equal to 0. When x is 0, the equation tells me 2y is equal to 6. So what is y? y is equal to 3. So your y intercept is 3, so this is y and 3. Okay, y is equal to 3. Okay, so now you, you're going to cover up going to cover up 2y. That means what is 0? Your y is 0. When y is 0, you can see minus x is equal to 6. So if you multiply negative 1 to both sides, negative 1 times negative x is equal to 6 times negative 1. So negative 1 times negative x is x. x is equal to negative 6 x is equal to negative 6. So x is equal to negative 6 is this point. So and then you can draw the line. The line goes like this. So the equation of this line is y, sorry, I keep writing in y, mx plus c form. So the equation of this line is minus x plus 2y is equal to 6. So for practice, okay, let me write some equation. I want you to do this yourself on the same grid. Say 3y plus x is equal to 6. Okay, 2x plus 3y is equal to 15. Okay, what else? Okay, say 2x minus 4y is equal to 10. And say minus 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. Do this uh, yourself on the same grid. Make up this grid of say minus 8 to 8 and on x-axis and minus 8 to 12 on the y-axis.